Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and I made a smoke bomb video before, but in today's video we are going to be making an updated version, and I have a lot more materials to work with, so we're going to make them a little bit bigger this time. So what you're going to need for this video is the two main ingredients, is KNO3 potassium nitrate, this is actually fertilizer, same, same thing. You're going to need some sugar, this is white granulated sugar, I'm not sure if it matters what type. But well, that's what I have for today's video. You're going to need some fuse or sparklers to light it, a mixing bowl, a waste scale, a stirring utensil such as a spoon, and of course something to cook it on, and something to put the mixture in, like this piece of pipe I'm painting black right now. So the first and most important step is to mix your ingredients. Now some of the ones, such as my last video, go check it out. It's called Colored Smoke Bomb or something. I used wax, but in today's video we're just using these two ingredients, and the ratio is as follows. You want 60% potassium nitrate, and 40% or 40 parts sugar. Sugar. So we get the 4 ounces. Four. So we're going to be using this propane stove in my garage today, so turn it on, there you go, put it on as low heat as possible. I wouldn't recommend doing this in your mom's kitchen just in case it does catch fire. So I'm going to turn this down to as low as possible, and if you're using a regular electric stove do the same. You want it to be just warm enough to melt it, but you don't want to burn it. You also want to mix it constantly. I'll go ahead and keep the camera on it and do a little fast forward. But you're basically going to keep going until they're completely melted together and look almost like peanut butter. All right, so there it is, the final mixture. As you can see, it is pretty liquidy. I had some pretty chunky potassium nitrate, so as you can see, there's still a few chunks in there. And that potassium nitrate, by the way, was provided by my good friend, Andy Slot. He wanted me to give him a shout out, so there's your shout out. Anyway, let's go ahead and pack this in the tube and light it on fire. All right, so now we're gonna go take our mixture and pack it inside this tube. I made a tube with a screw, screw off end, so I'm going to go ahead and screw off the end. Alright, here we go. I kind of chose a pretty narrow neck container, so this might be kind of tough, but let's try our best, shall we? Changed my mind, this is going to be very tough. As you can see, I'm kind of just shoving into this pipe I made, and I painted it black for, for good camera effect. Alright. I'm going to do this off camera, but basically I'm going to fill the entire tube with this mixture. Then once it cools a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and put a fuse in all the way to the bottom, just in case the top isn't mixed properly or something. Then I'll show you the final result. Alright, so here's what we ended up making. I made one big one on the left and three tiny little poo looking ones on the right. So I'm going to show you lighting one of these ones on the right first. And just so you're wondering, it will wreck the pan and the spoon, whatever you use. So good thing I use this old dog dish. So let's back up the camera and light that fuse right there. The fuse has to be used because it requires a lot of heat to cook it. Anyway, I'm not sure how big the flame's going to be, so I'm going to start the camera right here and move back if necessary. Here we go. Please work. Alright, so this one is a little lame. 
We'll see if it catches on. Oh, it's working. It's just reacting very slowly. It is working though. Man, that big one's gonna last forever at this rate. Holy smokes. Yeah. The last test in today's video will be this tube smoke bomb. I'll back up the camera for you guys a little bit. And here we go. All right, it doesn't stand up, so we'll have to do sideways, I guess. Again, it's probably starting slower just because it seems that that's what these do. I'll show you the front. There's a pretty cool reaction going on here. The flames coming out the front of this thing. By making a smaller hole, it really suits the smoke out. You can kind of hold this one with your hand, which is kind of nifty. Anyway, this one's pretty contained, so I think that's just about as much as it's going to do. But the nice thing about having that containment is if you wanted to like hold it around and move it. Don't know what the application would be, but it is kind of fun. As like special effects, maybe. For like a... A video, yeah. The inside is really cool, actually. It is really hot. As you can see, I'm touching the, the thick metal part. This part right here, the middle two, is very hot. Anyway, there's that smoke bomb there. It's going to take a long time to run out of steam, and it doesn't seem to be getting any more exciting, so I'll end it here and say thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Quick little um, end note in case you say this isn't very much smoke. It's even a cloudy day outside, but I don't know if you guys can see. There's a bunch of smoke. There's, there's what it gives off like that. And there is smoke everywhere above the garage. Really cloudy all the way over there. But yeah, thanks for watching.